Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. It's renovation vlog number three and in this vlog we are going to revamp the kitchen. So the kitchen wasn't the vibe, it wasn't giving what it's supposed to give so we're going to revamp it, we're going to clean the cupboards, sand them down, prep them, prime them and paint and make them looking good and new because obviously at the moment in time we don't have the money, the funds to buy a new kitchen so the new kitchen will probably arrive later on in the year so until then so that we can move in and have a good working kitchen that we like we're going to revamp it and make it look good as new um, until we get a new kitchen fitted in. So let's get started and if you're new here and you don't know who I am my name is Nadine and I do all kinds of things here on my channel but at the moment we are doing a renovation series so be sure to subscribe like comment share and all of that good stuff and let's get started in today's vlog so this is the state of the kitchen at the moment it's a very big mess there's cleaning products everywhere there's paint brushes there's paint there's buckets mops um what's it called newspaper boxes there's a lot going on here. So what I did recently is I removed all the handles off the cupboard doors, removed them. That one is stuck. I still need to get it off. I don't know how I'm gonna get it off, but yeah. I removed them, I've wiped them down, scrubbed them down, washed them down and wiped them down. So that's basically ready for me to start uh, priming. Just this side only though. This side of the kitchen, I haven't washed down the cupboards yet but this side is basically ready for prime i'm thinking i'm going to do it in section because this is a lot of work like for me to scrub it clean it was a lot of work so i'm going to do basically this section first because yeah my back is finished um so once we've got all the cupboards primed and painted then we'll move on to the floor and get everything cleared out and then everything will start looking mwah, beautiful again so let's get started
Okay, so good morning guys. It's a new day. So I've managed to prime all the kitchen cabinets. As you can see, I've painted them all white. Primed all the kitchen cabinet. Don't watch that area. It's all our paint stuff. It's all our toolboxes and all of that good stuff. And on the windowsill, it's like all our cleaning products. Um, but yeah, I've painted all the kitchen cabinets. And now it's time for me to prime all the kitchen towels before I paint everything. So today's job is to basically prime all the kitchen towels before we paint this whole kitchen. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. Um, big job ahead of us. The floor is still a madness, but this room will look completely different, hopefully, once we are done. So let's get started. I'll be using this primer and undercoat paint from B&Q. So it's for difficult surfaces. You can put this on your floor. You can put this on your PV, PVC, PVC doors. You can put this on towels. You can put this on glass. Basically, this can go on difficult surfaces. So I'm going to prime the towels with this and then I'll paint with the color of our choice after I've primed it. So this is what I'll be using. I got this from b and Q. kitchen the dreaded kitchen that I've been working on for a couple of weeks now so yesterday or in the last clip you guys would have seen me prime all the kitchen towels I primed them white so I'm back here again so that I can get them painted so we can start you know seeing the vision of our kitchen before we start moving in so I need to get all of this painted so we can officially start moving in because right now we can't live in this house the way it looks the way it's not finished, we can't even use the kitchen. So I'm trying to spend as much time as I possibly can in this kitchen, trying to get it ready as soon as possible so that we can officially move in. So the job of today is paint the kitchen towels. If I do that uh, before the husband finishes work, then I'll start on the kitchen cabinets, get those painted as well. Once the cabinets are painted, once the towels are painted, I can then move everything out to then start with the floor and then hopefully we'll be 
finished with this kitchen and we can start moving things in so without further ado let's get started if you guys have watched this video up until this point you guys are the real mvp and thank you guys so much for staying tuned and keeping up with this revamp of my kitchen so let's get started so the paint that i'll be using is this paint from b q it's called brilliant white and it's gloss so we don't want a matte finish we want the tiles to be glossy so i'll be using this for all the tiles here in the kitchen um, and then I'm going to see what it actually looks like. So let me get started with painting these tiles and not wasting time. painted all the tiles now um, I've done literally three coats so one coat was prime and then two coats for the white paint um, I'm gonna just let it dry now and see whether it needs a fourth coat because some areas you can tell like the pattern underneath it so I might have to go through and do a fourth coat but I've had enough of painting tiles it's time for me to start painting these cabinets and the color that I've gone for is the Dulux Natural Calico Paint for wood and metal and it's eggshell so it's like a low sheen um, so this is what I'm going to go for for all the cupboards and I just hope it bangs because right now I'm like mm, should I paint these white and have like white on white um, but I'm not entirely sure. These kitchen countertops will also get changed we will have to put something over it to change the colour so don't panic that there's like paint on them and all of that it, it's going to be covered no one will see this colour. So this for the cupboards i'm going to go ahead and start painting them so we can get this kitchen looking like how it's supposed to look like You don't know I'm stolen Cause you love to have a more crime mm -hmm. Gonna be sweet Tell me need. So after painting the first cupboard I'm not too sure about the colour Like I don't know I'm scared to continue just in case The colour doesn't bang We continue. I'm just gonna continue. It is what it is. Show ya. Show me the car you wanna turn me on. Who are you telling me you wanna be down? Done it. I done this before you fall. I won't catch you, don't know I'm stolen. Cause you love to have them all crying. Gonna be sweet, Tell me you need me But I'm from a city that's high school I give them the cinema I go uh, Cause you a bad man If she don't love money If she break ass real fast I come on When I swim down to the deep end Wanna know all my secrets Honestly Can you keep it real Cause honestly I can tell that you real fond of me If you don't be shy I can see in your eyes Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new day. We are continuing with the kitchen revamp or remodel, I don't know what you want to call it. 
but the kitchen is changing if you guys have seen the previous clips in this video so today's job is to do the floor so today we're going to paint the floor um so the floor is kind of this hideous color and it's like tiles i believe it's tiles like really tough tiles so we're gonna try and attempt to paint that i've seen so many videos of people doing it painting their floor tiles their kitchen tiles so i thought why not do the same um until the kitchen is ready to be renovated properly um because this color is just a no-go so we're gonna do that we're going to paint the floor and let me quickly show you guys the paint that i brought for the kitchen floor Okay, so this is the floor paint that I got. I got this off of Amazon. So you can actually get this from b q but when I was looking for this specific color, it was basically sold out in b q So I had to order it from um, Amazon. So it came, it's delivered, it's 2.5 liters. Hopefully this will be enough for the entire floor. Um, enough for like a first coat and maybe a second coat. We'll see how this goes, um, but yeah. Today we are painting the floor, which I'm super excited about. It's gonna be a huge change once it's painted and all of that good stuff. So let's get started. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go all night We could do it all night We could go all night, all night. Do we heal, do we bleed? I'ma follow your lead, but we could go all night all of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should've talked through it in detail Our separate ways ain't gon' end well, no But when we get back, it's like, oh my All bad all day, but the night I Get that good, good till we act right So tell me where we on the day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too You'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go on We could do it all night I'm cool, collected, but you pushing on my nerves And I'm knowing your intention, I'm under pressure Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said Got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless Long as you know, I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dressing gone Flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather We fight retreating this, but you trying to kill the cycle When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends No, you can't, I'm out here Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean Good morning guys, so it's another day and yesterday was the day that I painted the floor behind me. So I'm back to basically do the second coating and officially finish with this floor so that I can move on to the next stage of revamping this kitchen. So as you can see behind me, the floor is basically painted. 
the first coat went on and I'm so happy with the results. So I'm gonna do the second coat. And also, as you can see, we've had some deliveries. So this is our electric cooker and our fridge freezer also arrived today. So I'm gonna put it in the corner there. Let me actually just turn you around so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the plan for the fridge freezer, we actually got the fridge freezer and the cooker from Curry's. There was like a massive sale, so we decided to get both of them from there. So the fridge freezer, we want it to be situated on that wall over there. However, as you can see, there's a problem. This cabinet is in the way. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna get rid of this section here so we can move the fridge back to that wall so what i'm gonna do is unscrew what i need to unscrew and this will just need to be cut so that the fridge can nicely go in that corner i want to leave this space like empty and bare so if we need like a table we can put a table here rather than have the fridge here so yeah that's where the fridge will go and obviously the cooker will go there dishwasher and washing machine will go there once we buy one so let's get started back um, obviously there's like a little white square bit that I had to paint um, I'm gonna let that dry once it's dried I'll put um, the timeless paint that's all around the room and hopefully it will look a lot better than what it looks like now but yeah so the fridge is where it's meant to be so I'm now gonna go ahead and do the second coat of paint but obviously the fridge is just going to be there there's no point of me doing the second coat no one is going to see underneath the fridge so i'm just going to do the second coat around and all the other floors um so yeah let me get started good morning guys and welcome back to a brand new day the kitchen we are still in progress we are still trying to revamp it and make it cute better than it was before so in today's clip we are going to apply some handles to the cabinets that I have already painted. So I've ordered some handles off of Amazon and I'm gonna show you guys basically which ones I've ordered. So I went for gray because if I had gone with gold, it wouldn't have matched the kind of color scheme that we're going for. Most of our appliances are gray already. The sink is gray, the tap is gray. So I thought, let's just add gray handles. It'll make more sense. So I got these um, handles off of Amazon. Let me just quickly open them and show you what they look like. So literally, this is the, this is the handles. I don't know if it's too bright. It's focusing. So these are the handles that I got off of Amazon. And as you guys can see at the back, I've attached about three of them just to basically see if my color scheme actually works, if it makes sense. And it actually does make sense. Let me bring the camera closer so you guys can have a better look. So I've already attached these three handles onto the cabinets. Excuse that one, it's a bit wonky. I need to take it off and make sure that it's straight again. Um, I used the holes that were there previously by the previous owners. I didn't drill any new holes. I just basically used the ones that were already there. So if this is wonky and I can't get it straight, it's because of what they did before, previously, and I might have to just 
um, fill the holes in and then drill a new hole just to make it straight but that's basically what the handles look like as you can see our toaster is grey our fridge is grey our cooker is grey everything all the appliances are grey so it just makes more sense to get grey handles so that's the job for today get all the other handles onto the doors all around the kitchen then we can move on to the next thing which will be the worktop so for the countertops i'm gonna try and see if this will work so i got this from b&q and it's just basically like a wood effect i previously tried like a marble effect but it came out gray and i didn't want gray worktops like it was very very gray and it came out quite dark so i thought let me try this one um it's like a wood effect and see how it will look on our countertops um, and see if this will match better if it doesn't match better i'm taking it off and then i'm going to find something else basically finding the right color for our worktops has been so so difficult but we'll see if this one will work but i'll try this after i've applied all the handles so let's get started let me start by adding these to the cabinet cabinets the ones for the drawers are a lot more difficult i have to go to um big and q to see if they've got like tiny little screws because the ones that i have are too big and it's basically sticking out and the, basically the drawers won't shut if i use the ones that came with the packet so i need to go and find uh, smaller ones so let's go and attempt this so this is what it looks like it's a lot brighter which i like so I'm going to test it out on that side of the countertops and then see whether I like it. If I like it, I'll buy more today from B&Q. And if I don't like it, then it's back to square one trying to find the right one for the kitchen countertops. So let's start.
Right, I've managed to put this part of the countertop down and I actually like the colour. So I think I'm gonna get more of this. Um, I'm gonna get more of this and do the whole kitchen with this. The colour is actually really nice, it goes with the kitchen very well. But my only problem is how do I finish the corners? Because the corners are a bit tricky. So I think I need to Google how to finish off the corners properly because the corner, I don't know if you guys can see, the corner is basically flapping out, sticking out. So I need to actually find out how people do the corner properly. So. Hi guys and welcome to this last part of this video. It's the last segment of the kitchen revamp and it's basically done. I've completed this long, long process of getting this kitchen looking a lot better than it already did and I've basically finished and I'm happy with what it looks like currently. It's been a long time coming. I've literally been painting, scrubbing, tiling, well not tiling, painting the towels, um, wrapping the countertops, painting the floor, getting some new handles, everything is basically done and it's only right that I look decent um, in the last segment of this video because throughout this whole process I was looking a bit higgy haga and a bit all over the place so it's only right that I look decent for the final reveal of our kitchen revamp revamp on a budget so a little bit of background if you guys have not been you know keeping up with all the details throughout this whole video when we moved into this property the first thing we wanted to revamp was our bathroom so we wanted to get our bathroom done from like the ground up so literally we tore everything out and we basically got ourselves a new bathroom so our coins didn't stretch for a new kitchen as well because we also was planning our wedding and then we bought this house there was a lot of things going on in just a short amount of time so the kitchen is on hold at the moment um and while it's on hold i wanted to live in a beautiful kitchen or in a in a less dreaded kitchen than it what it was when we first got the keys so i then decided to revamp the kitchen so that i can walk into the kitchen every day and be like okay this is this is nice this is cute so that's what i decided to do so we still plan to renovate the kitchen but that will happen later on down the line so let's start with the tour let me show you guys what the kitchen looks like i'm actually so excited to show you and reveal to you what the kitchen looks like because it looks completely different from what it looked like before but i'm going to show you guys everything so let's get started So as you come into the kitchen from the door, so this is the door, this is the entrance way of the kitchen, look at how completely different it already looks. So you would have seen me paint the floor, obviously, you would have seen me paint the cabinets and everything else that I did to basically improve this kitchen. So let's walk in and let me give you guys a more detailed description or more detailed look at the kitchen and what I've done to basically revamp it. Okay, so as you walk in, so let me start on this side. So you guys might have seen my um, fridge on Instagram and on Snapchat. If you're not following us on Instagram, please do make sure you do because that's where I put all my little cheeky updates that won't go on. On YouTube and things like that so make sure you do follow me on Instagram and on TikTok as well as subscribing to the channel so the American style fridge it was definitely needed I needed an American style kitchen fridge because basically we had the space for it and that's why I decided to get an American style fridge and it's basically been amazing so I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what's inside so I must warn you it's a very very hectic at the moment 
as you can see there's a lot of things everywhere and it's it's just a lot the reason why we've got a lot of food in our fridge is because our parents came around the other day and they basically made us a lot of food so there's a lot of food in the fridge for us to eat they brought us a lot of stuff so right now in terms of food we're good we're happy but yes there's going to be a lot more organizational details that will be coming in the next week but right now it's a whole whole mess but i'm going to be very transparent with you guys and show you guys everything so this is the freezer side like i said guys there's no kind of there's no order to this everything is just basically chucked in um all of this was brought by our parents they basically came and stocked up our fridge and we're very very grateful for that so at the top of our fridge we have an air fryer that was also gifted to us by my auntie who came the other day um and she bought us a new air fryer as you can tell guys i have forgotten to take off that blue tape which i need to go back and take off and i have forgotten to paint that little pouch at the end if you guys remember here we had some extended parts of the cupboards which are cut away so that the fridge can fit perfectly in this corner so let's have a look at the rest of the kitchen so the color that i went for in the kitchen was a dulux color called um calico so the paint for the cabinets is is the color calico and it's a dulux brand for all the cabinets literally the entire cabinets are calico can you see the big massive difference to this kitchen but anyway we're staying focused to this side um so calico on the cabinets and then i got plain white like a gloss white for the tiles if you guys remember the tiles were like a yellowy creamy color so i just painted them white and obviously the cupboards were also brown the floor was also brown so yeah this is the very big change and also for the cabinets i decided to go for like a silver handle only because the appliances and everything were silver it wouldn't make sense for everything like for the handles to be gold even though i want a lot of gold in my house um it made more sense for all the handle wares and things like that to be silver things like my kettle my um dispensers were silver so it would uh, gold would have just stuck out and basically looked very very terrible so in terms of my kettle and my toaster so my kettle and toaster was on my wedding registry and they are from um amazon i found them on amazon and i added it to my wedding registry if you guys are looking for the same toaster and kettle i will add it in the description box below there'll be a direct link for my amazon storefront so if you guys want to purchase anything that i do mention here in my kitchen you will find it on my Amazon storefront. So this is like a set, they came together. Um, so yeah, up here, all our glassware is basically in. Nothing is organized. I've basically chucked everything in there. Nothing is organized. At some point, I want these small bits to be nicely displayed on the kitchen countertops like on a nice tray or a nice or a nice platform but at the moment they're stored away in the cupboard until i find like a nice little tray for them to be on but yeah so this is basically the glassware cupboards i got these also from amazon they are super super cute um well i didn't get them i added them to my wedding registry i will also link these in the description box below they also came with a straw so yeah i will link everything in the description box below moving on so i then got these from amazon so this is my olive oil dispenser this is my soya sauce dispenser this is actually maggie sauce but there was no label for maggie sauce it's like the people just don't have labels for maggie sauce so i don't know i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to label this as maggie sauce if i have to like print it out myself I wouldn't have to do that but at the moment the maggie sauce has no label i have the olive oil and the soy sauce like i said guys i will link it in the description box below 
so moving on the kitchen countertops that i wrapped was from b and q these were i believe 7.99 seven pounds 99 or exactly seven pounds for like a roll um and the a roll was quite big i think it's like a, a meter guys don't quote me i'll add it to the screen i'll put all the exact details um, of the pricing and sizing of everything on the screen but the wrap was from b&q and i think it was about seven pounds or eight pounds for like a meter roll um so yeah so this wrapping is waterproof um i don't think it's heat proof which is why i then got a heat stand or heat mat from ikea this has been a life saver guys if you ever vinyl your kitchen countertops get yourself one of these this was from ikea um and this has been a lifesaver. So whenever I cook something and I need to put something on the kitchen countertop, I put it directly here so that the vinyl doesn't get damaged. Um, let's talk about the biggest elephant in the room, which is my cooker. So we ordered my cooker, but the cooker was too small, but anything else bigger wouldn't be able to fit in that, in that gap. So that gap was very awkward. It was a very awkward gap the bigger the bigger cookers can't fit in there and this cook and the cookers that are smaller are basically smaller with a gap so what vincent and i are going to do we're going to extend our kitchen countertop so that it's basically no gap we're going to extend the kitchen countertop and basically close the gap uh we just need to head to bnq and do that um once i do that i will definitely show you guys an up update um the cooker is from curry's i wouldn't recommend guys this cooker is not that amazing but we're gonna move on so um on this side we have our microwave we also got that on amazon i will link this in the description box below it has been a very good microwave and in the cupboard here above we have a lot of food so yes our parents came and literally bought us everything they stocked up our, our kitchen cabinets with a lot of food um don't worry guys this will not stay like this i will rearrange everything and make sure everything goes in like glass jars and they're labeled you know all that aesthetic stuff that's what i'll be doing with this cupboard very very soon i just have to buy the jars and all of that good stuff so right now everything's a mess but yes let's go ahead and close the cupboard so moving along we have our beautiful window so one thing i love about this uh, about this kitchen is that the light that comes in from the window it's absolutely amazing so we revamped not revamped we painted the kitchen windowsill made it look a little bit better we wipe down the windows, make sure that they are very clean, etc. I got my first house plant. This was a gift from my auntie. She gifted me this house, this house plant, and I absolutely love it. I'm trying my hardest to basically keep it alive because every house plant that I ever had in my mother's house has basically died. So I'm trying my best to keep that alive. So my plans for this windowsill. <sighs> I'm trying to do some deco bits, some nice centerpieces on the windowsill. I'm yet to find them, but once I do, this whole area, this whole situation will look a lot different. But anyway, let's keep it moving. The big elephant in the room. Let's talk about it. The big, the big space. So this space um the previous owners that's where they kept their washing machine and the dishwasher so we have not yet ordered a washing machine and a dishwasher because we cannot decide on which one we want because obviously it's going to be an open cupboard so we need to make sure that the color of the appliances basically makes sense so which is why we still have a gap there where our washing machine and dishwasher should be but once it arrives it will be making more sense but let's move on swiftly so in terms of our sink so our sink was from my mother-in-law my mother-in-law bought us a new sink and a new tap 
Um, and then I got this dish rack from, where did I get it from? Um, I got it from TK Maxx, yes. I got it from TK Maxx, I think it was like 10 pounds and it's bloody amazing, uh, absolutely amazing. So yeah, new sink, thank goodness, new tap, thank goodness, because the old one just was not giving. Excuse the marks there, guys, it's when I was um, doing the vinyl, I kind of peeled off the um, paint from the back there, so I just need to go over there and paint it. So that's basically what the kitchen looks like. Oh yeah, on this side as well, painted as it is. There's a gap there for our water, our bits and bobs. We just kind of throw it over there. We don't know what we're actually putting in that area yet. Um, it's a good space for like maybe our bins or I don't know. But we, we're just basically using that space for like storage at the moment um, until we figure out what's actually going into that space um but yeah that is a basically what the kitchen basically looks like it's a very big change oh yeah let's talk about the other elephant in the room and that's these lights so thank goodness these lights are getting changed remember i was telling you in the other videos or in the other clips that i do not like these these are terrible but they are getting changed today actually as we speak the electrician is coming over they're on their way um, and we are changing them to these ones. I don't know what you guys think, but these are the ones that are going up instead. They'll be a lot more brighter than the ones that are up there right now. Um, you're probably thinking, oh, but they're not silver. Yes, they're not silver, but I feel like they match the creaminess of the countertops and the cupboards. Guys, just, just don't come for me. I've already bought it. I can't send it back and it's what we're using um so that's that so yeah this is basically what the revamp kitchen looks like compared to the one that it looked like before it was looking very very much hideous but i think we've done a very good job in bringing the vision to life um i basically did everything in this kitchen from top to bottom day in day out and I'm very happy with the progress. We've done a very, very good job. Um, I will do an updated house tour and hopefully by then I'll have a washing machine and dishwasher. Um, and I'll have, you know, close that gap and make sure that everything is seamless. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the whole process of me trying to like revamp this kitchen and make it look a lot nicer than it already was or you know what I'm saying, it, it looked terrible before. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the whole process of me decorating, revamping, painting, and doing Bob the Builder and all of that good stuff. But that is the end of today's video. Um, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. I'm gonna try my best to be a consistent babe. I know I've been lacking in terms of like, weekly videos like I said I'll be doing but I will be trying my hardest from now on to make sure I deliver all the content that you guys need, want, deserve and all of that good stuff but thank you guys so much for um, basically watching this video right until the end if you have, you guys are the real MVP and basically supporting my journey, the encouragement, the likes, the comments. I appreciate it um, but that is the end of this kitchen revamp it's been a crazy long journey blood sweat and tears but I managed to make it look like a very decent kitchen um, which I'm happy about it's not as dark and dreaded as it was before um, but yeah there will be more house updates coming very very soon there will be more tours coming up very very soon there's big things happening in this house there's big changes happening or that have ha that have happened that I need to basically show you guys um, but that will be in the next video to follow so don't forget to subscribe follow me on Instagram follow me on Twitter 
on TikTok, actually not Twitter because I don't really use Twitter, but I'm on TikTok on a home account and my personal account and I am on Instagram on home and personal account so you don't miss out on everything that's going on. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video, which will hopefully be very, very soon. So bye guys and thank you so much and I'll see you guys very, very soon.